Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Oh, hard to believe we're talking about some summer heat for next year when we've got some frost that is a good bet here tonight and even some spots that could get near or below freezing. The most likely locations to do that would be the high terrain just off to our west, but also including parts of Franklin and Mifflin County in that freeze warning here tonight, starting at 2 a.m. going till 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Other locations in the valley in a frost advisory that will be going into effect for you. Same time frame, so through the morning hours. So now we'll be watching for that uh, the coldest temperatures that we've seen so far this season. Uh, it's into tonight, but right now it's not bad. It's in the upper 50s for the most part here. Hershey with a live look and you can see that sunshine right now. 54 degrees latest check on conditions in Hershey and we do have that breeze hanging with us, but it's not nearly as blustery as yesterday, not as gusty either. So we're not seeing those peak gusts over 50 like we were seeing uh, yesterday. And also the skies are clearing out too. Still some clouds lingering uh, in our eastern counties, uh, but we should see those uh, dissipating uh, over the next few hours. And right now the wind speeds between 5 and 15, even 20 miles per hour temperature wise. Again, mid to upper 50. So it is a fall like day, a little bit below average for this time of the year. So we'll just call it cool and clearing skies here through the rest of today. That breeze will also diminish by evening. It'll take a little bit of time to get there, but once the sun sets, the winds will drop off significantly and they'll do so pretty quickly and that will lead to a calm night ahead. So cold in, yeah, frosty with mainly clear skies. I wouldn't be shocked to see many spots down into the mid 30s or even near the freezing mark. Some of those colder areas may actually get below that freezing mark tonight. Now tomorrow it's uh, mostly sunny, seasonable, increasing clouds as we head later in the day and overall we'll be uh, looking for a nice start to the weekend. But the second half of the weekend could feature some rain from this tropical system. Still a potential tropical cyclone. That's what that PTC means and it's just by the number 16. If it becomes named, which the National Hurricane Center expects to happen, it would be Nestor and Nestor would be making a landfall along the uh, panhandle of Florida. It looks like as we head into the start of this weekend and then from there probably weakening into just a remnant low. The moisture will uh, m in a large part miss us to the south, but we could get skirted by some of that rain from uh, what's left of that system as we head into Sunday. But again, it'll be a cold night tonight. High pressure building in calm winds, clear skies. Tomorrow's a nice day, but then here comes some of those high clouds from that remnant moisture. And as you can see, predictor does try to bring some of those showers close to us. Some other models bring some steadier rain into the Susquehanna Valley, just all about the track of the storm. So we will keep you up to date on that. As of right now, we're going mostly cloudy for your Sunday and showers possible. So of course, stay tuned to the News 8 storm team and uh, we'll let you know. But I think we dry out Monday. Not a bad day there and rain chances will go back up on Tuesday, drying things out for the middle of this coming week. So the weekend actually not looking like a bad one to start. It's all about the track with whatever happens with that tropical mm, system. As it always is. As right? always, the track is important. At least it's not so windy today. That yeah, was crazy. Man, yesterday. It was really blustery. Yeah, but we'll get a break today. All right. Thanks, Matt.